The second movie ended with Thomas delivering a speech about how they would rescue Mino and take WCKD down. In the first scene of the last part, we see that the Gladers are chasing after a WCKD train to rescue Mino and other captured children. Thomas and Vince attempt to board the train while Jorge and Brenda fend off WCKD mercenaries. Thomas and Vince hop on and separate the cart with the captives from the main train. When the villains realize what happened, they try to run back to kill the Gladers. Fortunately, Newt and some members of the right hand were hiding nearby, and they hijacked a WCKD jet and managed to carry the cart off the train and back to their hideout. Upon arriving at the hideout, Thomas discovers that Mino isn't with the ones they rescued, as he had believed. Newt and Frypan opt to go with Thomas to find him, even though Vince and Jorge want everyone to stay together. Jansen finds Mino at the train site. When they bring him back to WCKD headquarters, Mino is put in a simulation where he finds himself in the same maze he started in. He runs through it and finds himself being chased by a griever. Mino is cornered by the griever in the simulation while WCKD scientists are extracting his blood to find a cure for the flare virus. Overseeing all of this are Ava and Teresa, the latter of whom feels remorse for betraying Thomas and the others. Thomas, Newt, and Frypan drive through a tunnel past an infection checkpoint, where they encounter cranks. Their car flips over and nearly traps them, but Frypan emerges with a rifle to start shooting at the cranks before they can attack. An even larger number of cranks approach before the guys are saved by Jorge and Brenda. They proceed towards the last city until they notice it is guarded by a massive wall to keep the infected out. Ava and Teresa meet with WCKD board members to discuss the matter of the wall and their progress in creating a serum for the virus. Ava requests that they allow her and the scientists to begin performing trials. Despite their hesitation, Teresa steps in and gives good reasoning for going ahead with the trials. The group arrives outside the city to see a crowd of infected protesters gathered by the wall. Within moments, guards started to fire upon the protesters using enormous blasters. Thomas and his friends run from the chaos and are taken by masked men. After being brought to a safe spot, Jorge starts beating one of the masked men. The man reveals himself to be Gally, the one who tried to stop Thomas and the rest of the group from leaving the maze and killed Chuck, previously thought to have been dead. Thomas punches him in the face as payback for Gally killing Chuck. Gally apologizes for what he did, as he had been infected at the time. He offers the group a chance to help them. Gally leads the group to the home of an infected rebel leader named Lawrence, whose face is disfigured as a result of the virus. Lawrence offers Thomas a way to sneak into the city on the condition that he helps him out as well. Thomas agrees and travels through a secret passage with Newt and Gally while the others stay behind. Teresa tests out Mino's blood on a young, infected girl named Cheyenne. Teresa then goes to Mino's cell to tell him what she's doing. He pulls her in and attacks her for being a traitor before guards come in to sedate him. Teresa goes back to find that Cheyenne's condition has worsened, as she is now in a cranky state. Gally shows Thomas and Newt that their only way into the WCKD facility is through Teresa. Thomas is hesitant about going through with it, which Newt thinks is because Thomas still has feelings for Teresa. Newt gets angry with Thomas until he calms down. Outside, Newt reveals to Thomas that he got infected in the tunnels, but he doesn't want anyone else to know about it just yet. Thomas manages to get Teresa to spot him on the streets, leading her to follow him into an alley where Gally captures her. She is brought before the group to convince her that they need to get inside the facility, and Teresa says they need her fingerprint. Thomas, Newt, Gally, and Teresa all head toward the facility. Gally goes to find a serum for the immune children while the others go look for Mino. They find and free him, and they head to escape, but they are found by Jansen and several guards. Teresa helps the guys escape while she stays behind. Newt finds the children and frees them, with Gally guiding them outside after finding the serum. The children head towards a bus with Brenda. Frypan helps pull the bus away with a crane, but it becomes too heavy and falls away from WCKD. Thomas, Newt, and Mino are forced to jump out a window and into a pool to get away from Jansen. Lawrence gathers his army of infected people as they head to take the city back. Lawrence rides a van with explosives into the wall, causing a huge explosion that allows the army to storm in. Soon, the whole city will be under siege. Meanwhile, Newt starts to get worse, turning more into a crank. He gives Thomas a necklace with a cylinder before he passes out. Teresa broadcasts her voice over the speakers to call Thomas, saying they need his blood for the cure since it was his blood that helped cure Brenda when she was sick. Moments later, Newt reawakens in a crank-like state, begging Thomas to kill him as he starts to attack.
Thomas defends himself against Newt until he is forced to put a knife in Newt's heart. Newt dies, and the others gather around him as Thomas heads back to WCKD with great remorse. Thomas finds Ava, and he aims his gun at her. She attempts to help him, only to get shot dead by Jansen. He takes Thomas to a room where Teresa is preparing to extract his blood. When Jansen says that WCKD will only cure those they deem fit, Teresa whacks him over the head, and she tries to help Thomas get out. Thomas then starts to fight Jansen. Before Jansen can finish them, Thomas throws a weight at a cell door holding two cranks. They break out and start mauling Jansen to death. Thomas and Teresa head to the top of the building, but Thomas was just shot by Jansen. Jorge rides a jet to the top with Brenda, Vince, and Galley. Teresa helps Thomas jump to safety. Before she can go, the building next to the facility collapses in the chaos of the rebellion. The adjacent building comes down on WCKD, causing it to crumble and collapse, taking Teresa with it. Thomas looks on in sadness as he watches her fall. A while later, the survivors have made it to an island, the safe haven that Ava had mentioned. They make it their new home. Mino gives Thomas the necklace that Newt gave him earlier. Inside is a note from Newt to Thomas, reflecting on their entire ordeal and thanking him for being a friend, but also requesting that he take care of himself and everyone else. The survivors then start to carve the names of their lost loved ones onto a rock. Thomas carved the names of Chuck, Newt, and Teresa. The film ends with Thomas walking along the beach alone, holding the serum in his hands as he looks out into the distance. Thank you for watching.